we were very sloppy. We, we, we gave the ball away a lot. Uh, they were two leagues ahead of us in the, in the first half. And uh, we, we couldn't get going. There was a, an individual out there that was probably maybe Kronos. Um, wasn't a, any other individual that was uh, playing their normal game. And uh, yeah, so the first half was just, a, for us, it was a very, very poor performance. Some of the fans are questioning commitment. Would you be questioning that? Well, yeah, I mean, of course you do when you see a game like that. I mean, I know the lads inside out and I know that they're, uh, they don't purposely go out not to try. You know that uh, they wouldn't be anywhere near one of my teams if I felt that any of them go out not to try, which is what you know, you're know sort of insinuating. Well, sometimes it looks like that when players are not playing playing well. Uh, and it was more that. I mean, it was just very, very poor defending. And uh, we couldn't score on our chances. Um, and they took theirs early on, 3-0 down. But half time is a, you know, is a mountain to get back. But we had enough chances, funny enough, to get it back. But then uh, just disappointed with the whole, with the way the whole whole game went. And in a way, the, the fourth goal summed up the day. You get a goal back, and straight away you give away another goal. Well, it's bad defending again, wasn't it? You know, when the lad got in, and they they they've got a game where you know, they they keep men up front. And if uh, if you don't keep the ball or your passing's a bit skew with on the day, they got players that can hurt you because they they got sort of players that stay stay up. And if you lose it and give it away, then you know, they're, they're they're breaking on you quite well. So uh, that's what happened on the day. But as you say, I mean, uh, uh, even at four-two with them having a man down, you thought getting another goal really could still be game on. Well, yeah, and it should have been. I mean, we got the third one. Um, uh, it's the second one, and then we had chances, unbelievable chances to get the third one, which would have given it a real grandstand finish. But uh, unfortunately, on the day, we didn't quite have the finish and the quality in both penalty areas, but certainly we, we didn't have the, the quality to stick the ball in the back of the net when we needed to. Any complaints about Kevin Dawson's red card? Uh, no, no, it was late. I think he. Uh, you know, he was, we were trying hard to get the game back, and uh, it was a late, late tackle. And uh, of course, you get a red card for a late tackle. And obviously, you were asked to go to the stands. What was that about? Yeah, well, I just, I just had a quick chat with a, with a ref, and uh, I've, I've put my my case because I'm the first to hold me hand up if I've done something wrong, and uh, uh, he's misinterpreted. Uh, something that uh, I did with my hands. I put, uh, I was talking to the linesman. I've got to be careful because I, I obviously I spoke to them and they spoke to me. I understand what the referee thought he saw. What did he think he saw, Gary? He thought he saw me putting two fingers up to the linesman. And I've never done that in my life, not in a normal day in the street. Um, but uh, had the linesman made three mistakes, then I wouldn't have got sent off. But because he'd made two mistakes, um, and I'm really, really hoping the video shows it, I'm hoping that people that can lip read uh, can see it, uh, because it's not a nice thing for, for, to, to get sent off and people thinking that I've put two things up the lines. Uh, I'm not, I've never, ever, ever done that. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, you know, it was an amicable discussion. And the linesman knows what I said, and so if you put what I said with what the referee thought he saw, or what he did see, then you put the two together and I certainly haven't disrespected the linesman. Been in football a long time. How, how do you pick yourself and the team up after a day like this? Well, listen, when you've been around a long time, like we all have, um, you, you, you have to pick it up because you know, you're going to have ups and downs and you're going to have major downs and you're going to have major ups, you'd like to think. Um, and I've had them over the years and you just you have to come out stronger. You, know, you either fight or flight, as they say. And uh, you know, we've we got to make sure that we, uh, we learn from it if we can. 
But, um, you know, it's about quality as well on the day. You know, we didn't have enough players showing the quality on the day to put somebody in, to head the ball in the net, to head, keep the ball out the net, to, to you know, look as if we were a league above the opposition. We, we, we didn't do that on the day. And, um, but you always have to end up by saying on the day because you all know in football it does it does change you know we're embarrassed by the crowd's reaction but understand it of course 100 um, percent and you know we, we we all we all felt that way but um you know, we're a football club and the football club's going to be here for a long time to come and we've got to make sure we uh recover from these uh real downers guys thank you very much no problem,